What's up guys, welcome back once again. I'm sitting here with Dr. Prashant. Welcome to my channel. Hello. What you can expect from today's video is exactly the process of doing masters here in Germany after completing your MBBS. Now he has had his share of experiences, ups and downs, and finally he's sitting here with a job in his hand. That's what is commendable. Congratulations. Thank you. It happened like a couple of days back. Yes. And I happened to meet him through Dhawal, this guy from Diploma, which I did a video about. See, without talking much, I straight want to get to you like why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself so that someone who's doing MBBS or someone who has already done it and now working will have a kind of idea how to come to Germany finally. Sure. So hello guys. I am Prashant and I'm 27 years old. I am basically from Surat in Gujarat, India. And uh, yes, I've completed my medical education uh, bachelor's from uh, Cebu City, Philippines. And after completing my education, I moved back to India and I completed my licensure exam of MCI and I'm registered as a doctor in India now already. And after that, I worked for three years in India. And then uh, while working, I realized uh, I got to know more about the competitive exams in India and everything. And then I decided to come here in Germany to pursue my master's. And I think it's one of the best choice that I've made in my life. Um, just a quick follow up question. What I ask you is what kind of work experience? You had three years of work experience. Yes. Where did you, which areas, streams, hospitals, clinics, where did you work? Actually, I worked in three different hospitals in India. Okay. Uh, Sterling Hospital in Ahmedabad. Then uh, I also worked in Zydus Hospital in Ahmedabad. And uh, I worked in Sunshine Global Hospital in Surat. All of these hospitals, I worked in different areas uh, like nephrology, cardiology, emergency medicine, and also in ICU. Right. So like you work as a registered medical doctor, as all of you know. So yeah, it's just a simple work of ward and looking at the patients and dealing with them. Thanks a lot for that quick introduction. I see a lot of people are actually watching this video to know how do you do masters here in Germany. Okay. Right? Now, before making this video, I've had a serious discussion with him for, I think, a few hours, uh, even to educate myself that what is this world of doctors here in Germany because you guys are the highest paid guys in this country, right? Yeah, true. Um, and uh, I want to have a better idea than what internet gave me what we did is he's going to tell you exactly what he has done what he has learned by doing certain things so you guys don't repeat that okay so we have divided this whole video into pre-arrival and post arrival these are two papers which you will be able to see it in a snapshot in a few seconds but uh, we have made it very i just want to show you guys just a second there are certain steps which he will walk us through because that's what he has made that. He'll be walking us through what happens in before arrival, pre-arrival, what are the steps you're supposed to take so that finally after you're in Germany, what are the next steps? So let's take the situation without me talking much. I want to come to Germany for my masters. I've completed my MBBS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I hope this doesn't require any work experience in between. And no, it no. does not. Okay. So let's take it. I've completed my MBBS. Mm -hmm. What are the next steps I should do to finally sit at the position where you are? So there are three ways guys that you can come here in Germany. The first one is uh, you can apply for a job. The second one is you can apply for a hospitation that is apprenticeship or an internship. And the third one is you can come here on the basis of studies or education. Okay. Uh, in the basis of studies, you're basically applying for um, uh, learning of a medical German language. I mean in the preparation of the exam. Okay. of the licensing exam. So the basic thing that by, while being in India that you can do is do your language from A1 till B1 and why I'm suggesting from A1 till B1 in India is when you do B2 after coming to Germany it is more easier to learn the language because you can hear a lot of German you can speak and interact with other German people so it's easier to learn the language and have a hold of the language. But the requirement is B2 then? Yes officially. the requirement the official requirement for a German license is B2. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So you need to finish anyhow until level B2. Right. But uh, my suggestion would be that until B1, you finish it in India mm -hmm. and then you can uh, start applying for uh, the courses of medical German mm -hmm. here. Right. So this could be step number one, which yes. is learn language. Learn language. Okay. Learn language till B1, but the requirement is B2. Probably I'm sure he has a certain reason. That's why he's saying and he'll get back 
on that point I want you to elaborate a little after a while. Sure. Uh, the second step is then now you have to apply in different institutes or uh, you can say in universities which is offering courses uh, for uh, medical German for foreign physicians. Mm -hmm. So the, there are different universities like Charité, FHM and other institutes as well like Goethe Institute is also offering a course. What am I going to learn there? There you are going to learn specific medical German words. Uh -huh. Okay. Right, which you will uh, otherwise not learn by learning the normal language. Uh -huh. okay. Right, so these are really a specialty words that we doctors use in order yeah, to yeah. talk to each other yeah, yeah, yeah. or in order to write our doctory documents and stuff. So this this is very much important. Okay, because in Germany you register everything, every data is made into German language. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important step. So step number two, you went ahead and did this. Yes. In which charity? Uh, I applied in charity for myself, and it was a crash course for six months, uh, six weeks. Mm -hmm. Then uh, yes, once you get the admission letter, yeah, from the university after you have paid for the course, then you receive a right. confirmation letter. So point number two that we are saying is uh, apply for the medical German courses. So for me, uh, when I was applying from India, so I applied for two courses. The first one was Medical German for Foreign Physician. Mm -hmm. That was a course for six weeks for which I paid around 2,040 euros. Mm -hmm. And the price keeps on shifting that will be more or less available on the website. Yeah, right? yeah. And the second course that I chose was uh, um, Preparation for Licensing Exam of Germany. Uh -huh. So yeah. that is uh, also in German which is being taught by doctors as well in the university. Wow. Yeah, so it is also a crash course for six months and during this course... Six they, months or six weeks? Uh, sorry, six weeks I mean. Okay, okay. So, and then uh, they also provide you with books and everything, like the study material is being given by the university. Okay. So, and it is a more or less a standardized study material, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh -huh. But uh, maybe I can give you the links also for yeah, the study I'm material. I'm going to put it in the description. Now, okay, everything. then it would be perfect for them as well, I guess. So you did two courses yes. in charity, this organization. Yes, exactly. I booked two courses. You booked two courses while you were in India? Yes, exactly. And how much was the fees for both of them? So both of them, uh, for me, it ended up to 4,080 4, euros or something. 4,080. 4,080 euros at that time I paid. Right, and, okay. And, and then after that, uh, like after finishing uh, application, I mean once I received my admission letter mm -hmm. from the university. Okay. And so during meanwhile, I was like preparing my block account yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the other visa requirements as per mentioned on the website of the embassy. Yeah. So yeah. I was doing everything side by side. The time will not be stretched too much, right? right? You, you tried using all that empty slots you filled up with the work, what you were supposed to do at the end. Yes, exactly. Uh, so I uh, applied for visa appointment yeah, and yeah. Uh, block letter preparations and stuff, you know, like Smart. things. Yeah take time so yeah I did that so visa application and after visa application once you get visa then obviously uh, no you prepare yourself with everything and come to Germany I forgot to say one thing before you leave the country actually see the requirement here is until B2 uh -huh. and we have finished only until B1 in India yeah so I would like to request you guys to book a course for B2 in any local school in any local language school, I mean in Germany, wherever you are going for your uh, medical German course. Yeah, yeah. So there you book a course for B2, which will be approximately three months. Twelve weeks courses are available. Uh -huh. And within three months, you will be well, uh, well versed with B2 level. Right. And then you can give your TELC exam after coming here. Okay. But then uh, the most important part is that before going for visa, Mm -hmm. please apply for this course so that your documents are much more stronger. Yeah, that's right? smart. Yeah, your yeah. documents become much more stronger that you are also going to learn a language side yeah. by side. All right, I want to wrap this part of pre-arrival, so I'm going to I'm going to quickly run on mm -hmm. the points what you just said. So there are three ways I can come to Germany. One is job seekers visa. Second is hospitation. Third is study. Right? Yes. You chose study because it's more flexible, easy to get into a system than the previous two ones, which is uh, hospitation and job seekers. It has a lot of uncertainty. That's the whole point. So you chose uh, studies and in studies, uh, first thing what you did is you learned language B1 level. Yes, Second exactly. thing what you did is you reached out to these institutions where they teach you physician mm -hmm. language course, mm -hmm. plus they help you with the licensing. Yes, right. And licensing exam preparation. Licensing exam preparation and for that you went to charity. Yes. Okay. Uh, you got the admission letter. Mm -hmm. uh, 
simultaneously you applied for cool. language school here in Germany okay you have that paper also now and then with the appointment letter from a appointment letter from this charity and the contract from this language letter yes language school for B2 level you took all these things went to embassy yes with exactly. all your blocked account and da, da, da. Yeah. finally you got the uh, visa yes 